Hello my friends, thanks for tuning in. In this video I'm comparing the speed of Paktor 4, Paktor 3, Vara HF and RDOP uh, using the new Paktor modem, the PX Dragon DR9400, which was provided to me by Vimo. Stay tuned. Please check out Vimo's website, where you can find a large variety of ham radio equipment and accessories. A special thanks to my buddy Mike, OE4MXB, who helped me with the tests. And we did seven of them. Four upload tests and three download tests. In the upload tests we uploaded a 100 kilobyte JPEG image to the mailbox, so to the gateway. And uh, during the receiving tests, uh, we requested a channel update file uh, via radio. And this update file, channel update file, is about 18.5-ish kilobytes in size. It varies a little bit, maybe sometimes it's 18.4, sometimes it's 18.5. So um, the difference is not too big. We started in the late afternoon on 80 meters using Oscar Echo 3 X-Ray Echo Charlie as Windlink Gateway, which is approximately uh, 110 kilometers away. I have to point out this is a test under real world conditions, not some kind of laboratory environment. So we had partly huge QRM uh, stations talking nearby, there was noise from the Christmas uh, illumination all around, so a real world test. Signal strength of the gateway was about 59 plus 5 dB up to 25 dB over 9. So, without further ado, let's get to the first test. And we are connected using Paktor 4, sending the 100 kilobyte sample image. And uh, Fox, I'm not showing you this in real time, so I skip forward uh, to the end, or till we come close to the end, and then I show you the result. And the first test has finished. Total session time 6 minutes and 13 seconds. I will give you a little bit more statistics uh, at the end of the video. And I'm preparing the second test in Pactor 3. Go to settings and as you can see max Pactor level is 3. Let's hit start. And um, yeah, same as in the first test, I jump forward to the end. I don't want to show you the whole test in real time. And we are almost there. Total session time 7 minutes and 43 seconds. And yeah, let me also show you the noise. Um, hope you can see it. That's about yeah, about 5 dB over 9 of noise. Okay, now the same file. Once again, 100 kilobyte, and it's a JPEG image. You have seen it at the beginning. Uh, same test in Vara HF, and this is the licensed version of Vara. So. Um, this gives me full speed of uh, this protocol. And I also skip forward because this will take uh, a while. See you in a second. Thank <laughs> you. 
And we are almost there. We are coming to the end of this Vara HF session. Let's wait a little bit more. Yeah, you have to be very patient. And we are done. Total session time 21 minutes and 21 seconds. And here comes test number four in RDOP. And I can tell you in advance that will take the longest. So let me fast forward, skip forward, because you don't want to see that in real time. And finally, after a very long time and a lot of coffee, we are almost there. Let's see. Session time uh, is, come on, 42.3 minutes. So far, so good. Coming up next, three receive tests. We are starting in Adobe because it's already set up. Uh, then uh, continue with VARA HF and the third is Pactor 4. And uh, this time we skipped Pactor 3. And here we go, starting in RDOP. Um, I requested a channel update via radio. Then you have to send this to the outbox. Then you send the request and then you can receive the channel update file. And as mentioned at the beginning, the file is about 18.5 kilobyte in size, plus minus uh, a few bytes. So there is not much difference. So let's skip forward and check the result. And the file um, is downloaded. That was successful, but for any reason, the connection interrupted, simply interrupted after 10.8 minutes, as you can see here. Um, that's strange. There was no disconnect, even if it says disconnected, but it was simply interrupted. Here comes test number six, downloading the same channel update file via VARA HF. And once again, this is the licensed version of VARA. So this gives me full speed. Let's skip forward. And we are coming to an end. And let's see the total session time. We are still connected. Just wait a couple of seconds. And here we go. Session time, uh, 11.6 minutes. And we, and are, we connected. are connected. At the At first, first packet, packet, we are, we are uh, connected, connected to the, to the gateway. gateway. And we and are we downloading. Are downloading uh, the, uh, channel the channel file, file again. again. And, and I, I fast, fast forward, forward to the, to the end. end. <laughs> this is way faster than Vara. But, um, yeah, well, Pacto 4 also have some problems because of the QRM. You may cannot hear the QRM, but there is definitely, um, yeah, it's, wow. 
Look at that. Total session time, 2 minutes and 17 seconds. That's amazing. And we are disconnected. Let me show you some diagrams. Um, here is the send test. The 100 uh, kilobyte image was sent in 6 minutes and 31 seconds by Parkto 4. Parkto 3 was a little bit slower. Uh, but there is a huge difference to Avara and Ardop, and here are the average bytes per minute. And the winner is also Pacto 4. Pacto 3 was uh, not that much slower, surprisingly, but there is a huge difference to Avara HF and of course to Ardop. And here is another one. This is the uh, session time for receiving the channel update file and we have a clear winner which is Pacto 4. Um, not sure if I should count Ardop. Uh, the same here. Here is the average bytes per minute. Uh, so clear winner Pacto 4. Um, and once again I'm yeah surprisingly Ardop was a little bit faster here than Vara for any reason. But yeah, once again, I'm not sure if I should count uh, that try with Adobe because uh, yeah, the channel update file was downloaded, but uh, the session was simply uh, not closed. Um, there was no disconnect. It simply was interrupted. Okay, folks. Yeah, for me the result was not a huge surprise as we did such a test last year when we compared Mike's old PTC2 Pro modem, which runs Pacto 3, um, when we compared that one with Vara, and uh, last year we also had a winner, which was Pacto 3, um, which I don't understand, because uh, theoretically Vara and Pacto 3 should be at the same level, let's say. And don't get me wrong, Vara is a great solution, especially for the price. Um, if you compare the price for a Vara license compared to a Pacto modem, of course. Um, how can I say that? Um, Vara has problems with large file sizes. It takes very, very long to transmit uh, bigger files like uh, this JPEG image. Um, it's a sprinter and not a marathon runner. Let's say you are working uh, for an NGO or you volunteer for an NGO uh, like the Red Cross. Mike and I are doing that. Uh, and you're in some kind of emergency situation and you have to transmit the file no matter what. And they need this file to be transmitted fast and it must be reliable, um, then this is where Pactor shines. But this comes with a price, of course. And once again, don't get me wrong, um, Vara is a great solution, made by a ham, for hams, but if you need the speed and if you need the reliability, or let's say more reliability, then I highly recommend this Pactor modem. Yeah, and there's one uh, important thing I almost forgot to say. Uh, there, all, there is always room uh, for improvement and for fine tuning and for tweaking the settings in the software, etc., to make things uh, faster and better. I'm not a pro. I'm not playing around with Vara every day, so. If you have another experience, please let me know, write it down in the comments, and I look forward to see uh, your results. Okay, folks, that's it for today. Thank you for watching 73, have fun with the hobby, and till next time, stay tuned. Bye-bye.